All right, we're gonna do a little bit more here. We'll do another stay. I'm gonna just do another regular recall. That's my intent, but if the position's wrong, then we go into the, the railroad tracks until, the position, until he commits and gets the position right. Tom, very nice, look at you. Not bad, but not perfect. Good, I like that too, that's good. Bam, wow. Wow. Nice work. Wow. Good baby boy. Good. And you see him, he's actively problem solving. So when he feels that stim, to him he's saying, not quite right, try again. Right? So he's like, oh, I got to adjust a little. So he knows that game. He's operant to this when he understands that. When you feel those low numbers, it's just me saying you didn't, you're not quite doing it right. Adjust. All right? Good. Good boy. Very proud. Stay. Very good. Oh, that's my guy. Good. Oh, he adjusted way quicker that time. Good. And then he puts his gaze up. Good. Nice. Wow. Wow. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Because what we want after the recall is the dog to come to you and look at you and say, what do you need? That's what we need. Okay. We don't need them to come to you and not want to be here and be fussy and, and, and causing a scene or even worse they just they won't come to you fully <laughs> or they'll come to you real quick see if you got anything good and run away we need sit look at us take direction good boy it's beautiful and it's all associations whatever he believes is the most successful way through the situation and even rewarding he's going to keep doing until it just becomes habitual it just becomes his association you know he just he's a shepherd once he gets his associations he's just going to keep doing them so we're changing some old ones but honestly, he's a pretty cooperative guy. He is. Good boy. Stay. Because he's not really giving me any attitude. I don't know if you noticed. He's tripping up because he's curious and all that. That's, you know, that's an underdeveloped dog. He's not, he hasn't been, seen the whole world yet. He's still very curious about everything. But I'm not seeing a dog trying to fight my leadership. So, I mean, that's very good. Still difficult to train because you have to be so clear. Yes, and they don't pay attention. They don't, they're not looking, they're not listening, you know? So, yeah, of course. That's why they can't get the details, right? They're like heels somewhere around here. I, <laughs> that, that's what I picked up, you know, from the lessons. And that's because they're not fully, oh, the brain isn't fully calm and open to listening to what you have to say. That's a state of mind thing. People who watch this know this, us, they know this by now. That's what we, that's what we do. Come. Good. Nice. Good. Nice, nice. Wow, good. This is the first time I'm doing this with him, by the way, just so everyone knows. This is his first session doing this. It's looking really good. The days go on. This isn't even a pro. This isn't even something we do anymore. It's over, right? He, he understands it. Okay? Good boy. But see how much nicer this is going to be than the recall that's everywhere. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's just one more layer of unpredictability for the owner to know where, well, how is this one going to go, which makes an already stressful situation when you're using the recall just adds a little bit more stress and a little bit more of a chance that the dog doesn't perform well. So that's why we're looking for, we're just saying, hey, these five commands, we need them this a specific way. And that's it. There's only five of them, you know? Of course, there's out too, if you wanna add that sixth one in there. It's not much for them to learn. So let's make sure we focus on these and get them tight. Good. Huh? Good boy, I love it. Good boy. He's done probably thousands of recalls, I guess, at this point. Or hundreds, at least. Uh, not with me, with somebody, somebody else's. So I see him using here as a, um, he has his old landmarks. He sees here, and then he moves his head out, and he ends up sitting, and he ends up out there. Where I'm having him relearn where to look and where, what he's looking. I see him looking at this knee all the time, and then spinning a little bit out. So he does look visually for a reference. Good. It's just not the one I want. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Changing it. Good. 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 Those are the reps that clean it all up. Good. Nice. 
letting I'm staying here for a second so he can take a look at what it looks like when you're in the position. You look up, look down, look around. This is what this is the only position I want, right? Good. Stay. This is easier with a dog who hasn't been trained yet. It's always more difficult when a dog's been trained one way and it's slightly different. <clears throat> slightly but dramatically changes the the uh, it's slightly different but it dramatically changes the performance, right? Cuz we're expecting a very specific position with a calm state of mind when they get to us. Come, good boy. Good, look at that, it's my baby. Nice work. He's not giving us 100%, but he's given enough effort where he's learning. Yeah, I know. So, good boy. Nice, I love it. Doing things like that, that he remembers we like and then getting that immediate, immediate praise. That's what we're teaching them. Do things we like, and, and we'll, we'll give you things you like, okay? That's the trade. Good. Stay. That's a good dog. Old behavior right there. She's swinging around. Right again. Good. I love it. I love it. Yes, I do. See, he kind of got his gaze, and it looked up at me, and he's like, that's the answer. Okay. So, it's new to him, but he's getting it. So he started to do that recall and then he did that thing where he, he's getting there and then he's like, wham. So I, as soon as he did that, bam. That's the beauty of the e-collars. I can be, my timing's so good. It's so right on because it's so easy to click a button. I can, I'm looking for him to do that. I'm a step ahead of him. I know he's gonna do it. I'm waiting for him to do it. I correct, do the recall. What's gonna happen is he's gonna stop doing that. And we're gonna just see this beautiful recall here. Good boy. Now this takes work because the dog's already patterned doing it another way. We're really gonna have to do hundreds of these. It's gonna be like, Julie, I'm gonna do something, you're gonna do something. It's, it's gonna be, now if he never learned recall before, we'd be done. It would already be done. So, because we'll show them with their, within the early reps that this is the only successful. Where in another way of training, if they're allowed to go anywhere, they're gonna see a lot of successful ones. And then when you're trying to narrow it up, they're gonna be like, well, which one is it? And then they're gonna take long, they're gonna need longer, um, more reps to help them repattern. okay, stay. So if you got a puppy <laughs> and you're bringing them to me, um, don't use this yet if you can help it because it's gonna make it easier for the dog and for me and for everybody involved if we don't give them a certain, uh, certain associations and then they get here and be like, actually, that's not quite it. <laughs> Stay. Come, that's it, baby. Okay, not the same way, but he went, the, he went good. Nice. So he was going this way a lot. That was his thing. This time he chose this one, which is another one of his choices. But look how quick he's remedying it and giving me what I need. Good boy. You are a very good boy. Stay. Good boy. Come. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good. That's it. Okay, so he stopped going right. This is so, this is like the science. <laughs> He's not going right because right's not working. I'm going left <laughs> now. And then he keeps centering and that keeps working. What's going to happen is just going to be the center. It's just going to be the center. But this is, the, this is what we love about behavior is that it is malleable, right? It's very, a lot of it is what the environment, it's basically the dog's genetics and, the, and then the, what the environment allows and doesn't allow or whatever environmental effects have on the dog will shape their behavior. So I'm just saying, well, we don't like that right turn. You know, bing, bing, bing. He's adjusting. It's beautiful. The science is happening right in front of us. And I think that's why when we, when we watch this every day, we're still intrigued. Julie and I are still intrigued because we're watching it work every time. Even though, uh, you know, worst case scenario, the science goes, uh, the dog says, fuck the science for a second. I'm just going to try to attack everything <laughs> because they're frustrated because it works so good. Uh, you know, it's like we, and so they're like, I don't want to have this conversation. That's where we see dogs being aggressive and all that attitude. Dogs just throwing fits or whatever, uh, having meltdowns. But once they're over that, when, it, when, we're, when, when they're working with us, it's just so beautiful to watch them work and shape and you just see how, how, well, um, how well this tool allows, how, how precise we can be with, with our position and everything because hey, pressure on, pressure off. Pressure's on until you're right here and then it's off. It makes it so clear. Stay. Come, I love it, I love it. I love it, yes. I love it. I love it. See, I'm acting a little different now. Good boy. Come on. Yes. 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 Good. 
Amazing! Yes! Good! Amazing! Amazing! Stay. Come. Wow, good, good. See, I'm kind of giving him some buffer time. I'm letting him figure it out, you know. Good. 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 Break. Woo! Yes, you did. Look at it. Give it a little rest. It's yeah, always good to take a little rest. Bud. That's it, baby. That's it. That was it, baby. Yes, and so now I'm saying I'm offering a little more excitement, right? Okay. It makes it obvious. That's it, baby. You do good boy. You did amazing. I'm proud of you. Am I proud of you? I am. All right. Uh, Aries, come. Wow, come here, baby. That was a brilliant one right there. A little excited. I'm gonna let it go. Two times in a row, that position was straight. Good. Come here, baby. Wow. Slight turn there. Old ways, boom, right hard back. You see that? Come right, boom, there it is. We're gonna go into train tracks now. There it is, there it is, there it is. Wow, that's it, baby, come here. Yeah, that's it, baby. I'm so proud of you, who's my honey guy? Who's just the sweetest little thing? Very nice, very beautiful. I'm gonna do these for a while now because this is gonna give me the last little piece that I need for that recall to be really nice. Good. So right now you see his eyes are everywhere. Watch how this exercise will change all of this. Now I haven't pet him. I pet him when I like what he's doing. And right now I don't like this. I'm waiting for him to steady out a little bit. And that's when he submits to this. So right now he's still see he's pushing the boundaries, getting some corrections there. I'm looking for sneakaways, so if I see him not paying attention, correction, and sneak away. So that I can't get him to not pay attention. Well, every time he doesn't pay attention, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'll sneak away, there'll be a correction. He'll stop allowing me to sneak away by paying attention to me. Good boy. Beautiful boy, beautiful boy. Very proud of you. And again, Bruce is over there. He knows Bruce is over there. He hears Bruce over there. Very nice, beautiful, way more attention on me though. Very nice, I'm very proud of my guy. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, I'm very proud. Come on, baby, you're doing amazing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Boom. Very proud of you. Are you just not the sweetest little thing? Good boy. All right, come on, baby. Yes, wow, wow. Come on, honey. Yes, you are just the sweetest little guy. This is just praise. I'm just saying whatever. I say nonsense. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. You know, see, I'm starting to even them out a little bit because I'll correct them. It's like bowling alley, right? Or train tracks is what I call it. Um, if he goes off from the tracks, which is like imaginary lines straight off my shoulders, he's going to get corrected. Good. Right there's fine. I, I prefer them to hang out towards this side because that's going to end up being heel, right? Good boy. But right now, it's just follow. Right? Very nice. It's so much, I think why this works so well is because it's actually pretty easy compared to teaching uh, a heel from the beginning. I think this is easier to do this first and then do the heel. So I think that's why we see them um, having a little bit more success learning the heel. We're not seeing as much uh, messes with doing it because there's a step in between that kind of breaks it down a little bit. Good. Brilliant. Good, he's starting to, he's starting to change. So the longer you do this, he's gonna to start to just go into follow mode because his brain's just gonna kind of just start to, you can only stay ramped up for so long. Like <laughs> everything, 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 and then over it's just like, you know. And we get him there, and that's what I want the association to be when he, when he hears that beat, um, when he gets to me. Because it's gonna be heel, it's gonna be recall. I don't want him to come to me and have a level 10 of energy. That's just, at the very, you know, it's a disaster waiting to happen. And then I have to correct him when he gets to me, and you know. So I change, his, I change the association to what, it, what I want. What's the expectation? Okay, 
Let's pay attention to the dog, Joshy. Okay, the, I did that on that was a setup on my end. Almost there. There's hell pressure low right now. Um, I'll explain afterwards. Actually, it's hard for me to talk. Into this. Come on, bud. Come on, it's still on, it's still on. Come on, baby. Now what I'm doing here, I'll explain afterwards. Yes, yes, okay, perfect, good. Um, nice work, buddy, nice work, good, stay. Very nice, oh, it's very good, very nice. What I was doing there, um, I gave him some reps before where he's had success in this position. So now I said to myself, I'm gonna hold a number that's motivating enough, it was a seven, but it's different for every dog. It was motivating enough for him to want to turn it off. Um, I mean, it wasn't so low that he was just like, nah. There was enough motivation for him to say, how do I turn this off again? Uh, but it wasn't high enough where he was panicking. So he still had a clear head. He said, how do I turn this off? And so I wanted him to be a little desperate this time to turn it off so that when he found the answer, it sunk in even quicker. If it's more memorable, it sticks. So that's more memorable with him having a little, just a tiny bit of panic, just a tiny bit. How do I turn that off again? Oh, this didn't work. How do I, I can't, can't remember. How do I turn it off again? And then bingo, he gets it. Oh, that's how I turn it off again. Reps like that at the appropriate time, speed up the learning. Um, I'm simulating that part of the brain because I know it sticks. It's not going to take this dog a hundred reps to learn that, you know, chasing that porcupine is going to equal uh, uh, something jabbing into my face and being uncomfortable. It doesn't take that many reps when it's memorable. It's memorable this way because he had a slight bit of panic about I just need to turn that off. It's just, just enough, just producing just enough. When he lands, boom, it just sinks in and there's relief and there's benefit from it. Good, stay. But look, I gave him many reps of knowledge first before I put him in that boat so that I knew that, I knew that if he were to guess, he would be getting it right. You know, there's high prob probability he'd get it right. Um, and he did. But he got it wrong a few times first because when he panics, when you panic, the brain's gonna quickly went back to the old ways. It was like panics, like, let me just go back to what I do. And then he was like, oh, that's not working. I have to open my brain in a new way and then finds this solution. You know what I mean? So it sticks. Uh, Aries, break. Yeah, you are Aries. A beautiful boy. Are you not the most beautiful boy? Yes, you are. And now, so we're trying to produce pride in him because I see it coming. I see him starting to get prideful for doing these things, for like, for doing the commands right and for listening. He's like, oh, they like that. And he starts to fill him with pride. I know how to make my humans happy and make them prideful. I, I act this way or I do, uh, I do what, what they say with a, with a calm state of mind and a smile on my face, you know what I mean? Because that's what he's given me and I love it. I can be around him all day like this. He's calm, he's being compliant. Does he need work still? Yeah, he's got some work to do. But I'm seeing a dog who's understanding the foundation of the pack hierarchy out here. And I mean, we're out here where there's resources galore, you know? And he's maintaining that position. He's not fighting me to try to choose how to, uh, how to deal with the situation. So. Come on, baby boy. 